In this session, I'm going to give a detailed introduction to deep learning using some very simple and intuitive examples. The idea of artificial neural networks has been around since 1940s, but until recently, they were limited in size. That is, they were shallow and narrow. And by shallow, I mean they had small number of hidden layers. And by narrow, I mean each of the hidden layer had small number of nodes. And the reason for this was that large number of hidden layers and large number of nodes in hidden layers would result in large number of weights for the links and large number of biases for nodes. And the large number of these weights and biases would require proportionately large amount of data to learn these weights and biases. And such large data sets were not readily available. And even if one could collect such large data sets, the need for computational power to learn weights and biases for such large networks using such large data sets was prohibitively huge. And because of these reasons, the artificial neural networks remained relatively small till beginning of this century. And these small artificial neural networks had limited representation capacity. That means they could learn only simple relationships between small number of inputs and small number of outputs. And therefore, the natural signals like images, audio, text, etc. that have large input size could not be fed to these networks directly. Rather, experts had to carefully extract and select small number of features that could be fed to our shallow networks and the feature extraction and selection is very time consuming process and requires considerable domain knowledge and therefore the early artificial neural networks had limited success in learning complex relationships between large inputs and outputs so in short the artificial neural networks were an idea that was way ahead of its time but at the turn of the century several things happen that proved to be a breath of life for artificial neural networks first one was availability of large data sets due to boom in internet social media sensors cameras and iot devices at the same time there was nearly exponential increase in computational power of processors with development of gpus and tpus and this led to increase in depth of artificial neural networks and the result of this was big bang of deep learning several new architectures and algorithms were developed like convolutional neural networks recurrent neural networks transformers encoder decoder generative adversarial networks etc and this enabled deep networks to learn complex relationships between large inputs and outputs and the inputs did not have to be well defined and skillfully extracted features from raw data by domain experts but we could feed the raw data itself like images audio signal and text and so on and this really revolutionized deep learning another plus point of deep networks was their compositional nature which coincided well with compositional nature of naturally occurring signals like images audio and text and let's understand what i mean by compositional nature of naturally occurring signals by an example so if we consider face as an object then the most basic building block of the face can be thought of as a stroke and several strokes can be combined to form parts of the face like eyes nose lips and ears and these parts combine to form full face of a person and using the same simple strokes billions of distinct faces can be constructed and this is exactly how deep networks work that is as we move deeper and deeper into the network the layers learn more and more complex features leading to very high level abstract labels or 
predictions if we consider the example of image processing by deep convolutional neural networks then an image is fed to convolutional neural network is three dimensional array of pixel values if it is a color image and two dimensional array of pixel values if it is a gray scale image now is this image is processed by different layers of this deep convolutional neural network the initial layers learn to extract edges from that image and using those edges the later layers learn to extract parts of the face like eye nose lips etc and combining those parts it learns the full faces and using the features learnt in the entire network it can predict the label for that image with very high accuracy and it is not just for faces that neural networks can do it they can do it for cars they can do it for elephants chairs and anything that you want and using this capability of deep convolutional neural networks several applications have been developed for cnns like object identification object detection object segmentation scene analysis or scene parsing pose detection or action detection similarly many applications have been developed for analysis of audio input also using recurrent neural network like natural language understanding language translation speech to text text to speech and voice based and text based chatbots so in next sessions i will cover all these applications in more detail